Red Hills Power Sports now trying to figure out their next steps after a fire destroyed everything in their store early Saturday morning. I'm Ava Van Valen and I'm Channing Frampton. And now on ABC 27 News at 6, Micah Cho joins us live from Red Hills Power Sports tonight. Micah, did they tell you how much was lost in that fire? Yeah, Channing, over 150 bikes, ATVs, and other vehicles are now gone. I'm going to step out of the way real quick so you can see just what's left of the store. And however devastating this is, Red Hills Power Sports told me they're still going to be serving their customers and community even if they can't sell anything. Devastation at Red Hills Power Sports. A lot of good times, a lot of adventures, and uh, a lot of good memories. And uh, just gone. Everything from motorcycles to ATVs and side-by-sides, all gone from a fire that started at Red Hills Power Sports early Saturday morning. There's probably 150, 200 bikes in there. Red Hills Power Sports estimates thousands of dollars in damage and will have to cover the 60 customer bikes lost in the fire out of pocket. Everybody that's here, they do so much for, for our community. Poker runs, toy runs, all of those that they support. Jane Mayo and her husband have been coming to Red Hills Power Sports for years, helping the business that has been giving back to the community for over 10 years. Recently, Mayo volunteered to help fill a trailer with toys during Red Hill Power Sports' annual toy drive for Toys and Tots. I just can't even imagine if they didn't, weren't here, because they are such an intricate part of what we do. Toys for Tots isn't the only organization Red Hills has helped. The Buffalo Soldiers Motorcycle Club helps provide scholarships for high school seniors going to college. The Saturday that they were supposed to have their annual fish fry with Red Hills that helps benefit their programs was the day of the Red Hills fire. The Buffalo Soldiers say they can't wait for the store to bounce back. Appreciate them so much. It's, I mean, you know, even being here right now to see this building like this is very hard because, I mean, we, we're just family at any time. We can call them and be here. They're, they're here for us at all times. Now, Red Hills Power Sports told me that although they don't have a storefront, they currently are still planning on having their Toys for Tots drive second week of December. For now, reporting live in Tallahassee, Micah Cho for ABC 27.